Welcome on to, to today's tutorial. We're going to be looking at equations with letters on both sides, or if we want to call them variables. These can also be called, well, I like to call these double sided equations. Okay, so these are where they, it does get a lot more challenging. So we're going to look at the first one 3x plus 4 equals 2x plus 7. So clearly you can see that there are letters. Obviously, they both have to be the same letter, otherwise, we can't solve it at this stage. Um, but we have letters on both sides of my equation. So what's the whole aim? Well the aim as we know as usual is to find the value for x. So we want to have x equals and then a number. So in this case we need to get the letters onto one side of my equation and then get the numbers onto the other side of the equation so then I can solve to find out what x is going to be. Okay so what does that mean? Well that means I need to get rid of this plus 4 and I need to put him onto the right hand side and I need to get rid of this 2x and I need to put that on the left hand side so we can have the letters on one side and the numbers. We can do this in just one step or you can do this in multiple steps. Okay, It depends on how comfortable you feel with this stuff. So we'll look at it at one step at a time to start off with. So let's get rid of this plus 4. If it changes sides, it changes sides. So we're going to put him on the other side. So plus turns to minus. And like always, we're going to just to clear things up a little bit. So we're left with 3x equals, we still got a 2x there. 7 minus 4 equals positive 3. Okay. We're nearly there. We now need to get rid of this 2x. Now let's remember, we're getting rid of the whole thing. So there actually is a plus in front of it. We can't see it, but it actually is there. Okay, so how do I get rid of plus 2x? Well, we minus 2x. Okay, so let's rewrite that. What's 3x minus 2x? Well, if I've got 3x and I take two of them away, I'm just left with 1x or just x. And obviously that has disappeared because we moved to the sides. We're just left with plus 3. But we can just write that as positive 3. Remember, I could rewrite that as 1x, or just x, it's up to you. Okay, and the good thing is, like everything, we can test this to make sure it's right. So let's put the 3 where the x is. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 plus 4 equals, what, what's 9 plus 4? It's 13. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 plus 7, what's 6 plus 7? That's 13. Look, 13 equals 13. We've solved it correctly. Okay, so quite a tough question. Um, you might want to do that step in, in terms of um, that first step. You might want to take the 2x away to start off with. And then you might want to straight away take the 4 over, okay, in one hit. That's your option. I like doing that myself, but I've done these for a long time. You might just want to have one step at a time. It's up to you. Okay, we're going to look at the next question. Question 2. 6q minus 2 equals 2q plus 5. Okay. Quite similar to the last question, um, but there's going to be a couple more steps involved. You may want to pause this, go ahead and have a crack at it, and come back to see if you got it right. Okay, so the idea again is to get the q's on one side, the numbers on the other. So again, the aim is to have the letters on one side and then the numbers. This time, I'm going to do this in one step, okay, to show you what I mean. Okay, so how can I get rid of this minus 2? Well, we change the sides, so it changes the signs, it turns to a plus 2. I also want to get rid of this plus 2q, remember there's a plus there. How do I get rid of plus 2q? Well, we minus 2q. Okay, so you can see that's what I mean by doing a one step. Um, and so what I can write in now, 6q take away 2q is 4q. 5 plus 2 equals 7. Okay, if you feel more comfortable in, in just taking the 2 over, rewriting it, and then taking the 2q over and rewriting it, okay, that's up to you. Okay, but I've done this in one step. I've now got left over 
4q equals 7. Well, how do I get rid of the times 4? We divide by 4. Remember, if it's not going to be a whole number, in this case it's not going to be a whole number, we can just rewrite it with the fraction. Instead of doing divide by, we're going to do over. q equals 7 over 4. Now this is a slightly more challenging one to check, but you can actually check it. If you put this into your calculator, 6 times 7 over 4, and then take away 2, okay, it's going to come up with one number. Do that for the right-hand side. Obviously, if they're the same number, then it's balanced and it's worked out correctly. Okay, so more challenging question there. Okay, question 3 we'll now look at. Again, I'm showing you all the different styles of questions that you can probably come across. Okay, so some of these might be too hard for you. Okay, um, but at least they're there to have a look at. Okay, so so far we've always had the biggest letter on the left hand side. Okay, and I'm going to show you what happens sometimes when you have the bigger letter on the right hand side. If I looked at this question and we said, well, okay, we know the idea is to have the letters on one side and the numbers on the other. Well, that would mean I'm going to change the 3a and pull him to the left-hand side. The problem is, what is the opposite of plus 3a? Well, it's going to be minus 3a. So then we have to do the question of 1a minus 3a. Well, that's going to give me a negative 2a. Now, if you like dealing with negatives and you're okay with dealing with negatives, then go ahead. Okay, that's fine. There's no problem there. However, I know I make mistakes when I deal with negative letters. Okay, so I like to make sure that I always go to the biggest side because that makes sure I have a positive letter. So this is what I'm going to do. And again, this time, I'm going to do it in, in one step each time. Okay just to make it a little bit easier. So how do I get rid of plus a? Remember that's a plus there? Well, opposite of plus a is minus a. So I've got minus 4 equals 3a minus a is 2a plus 7. Again, you may have done this in one step like I did the last question, but it's up to you. Okay, so I've got the plus 7. How do I get rid of plus 7? Well, we minus 7. Minus 4 minus 7 is minus 11 equals 2a. Therefore, my last step, what's the opposite of times 2? Well, it's divide by 2. So a equals minus 11 divided by 2. You may wish to go ahead and put negative 5.5, which that's OK as well. And I might actually just write that down, or negative 5.5. OK, but I like to deal with the fractions because it's much easier to write. Okay, um, again, I could have just said in that first line, instead of actually doing it one at a time, you may have done that all at once. So you may have actually um, put the minus a and the minus 7 to start off with and written your first line as minus 11 equals 2a. You can just see that's just doing one, ex missing one extra step. Okay, that's up to you. Um, again, what is one of your other options? You could have actually re rewritten this, this part here once you got to that stage. If you like dealing with the a's in the left hand side, you could have rewritten that as 2a plus 7 equals negative 4. Okay, and then taking the 7 away. And it just means that you're working to with the letters on the left hand side as opposed to the right hand side. Okay, lots of different ways you can solve these questions, but I mean, that's obviously a much more challenging question. Like the next one, okay, this is at the, this stage probably the most challenging question you're going to have um, with a double sided equation. So, this is example four we're going to have a six outside of a minus six equals two outside of a plus six. Now, in the previous lesson, we looked at a question like this where we had brackets, we only had brackets on one side, okay. Now, in this case, my um, or actually with any of these cases, I mean, if it all else fails, always expand, okay? But in this case, it's gonna be your only option. We have to expand the brackets. So, we've got six lots of, of A, what's six times A? Well, that's six A, and then six times negative six. Well, six, six is uh, 36, so it's a negative 36. We do the same thing for the right-hand side. Two times A is two A, plus two times six, is 12. 
Remember I do those little um, rainbows just to make sure I'm timesing both things in the middle because often what we do, we times the first one and we forget to times the second one so it's just a little reminder for me. And then look at that, that just looks like a previous question where I've got letters on both sides. We now want to go back to that theory of get the letters on one side, the numbers on the other. The six A's on the left hand side, so this is even easier for us, okay? So let's, let's do some one here. What's the opposite of plus 2A? Well it's minus 2A. What's the opposite of minus 36? That's plus 36. So we're going to do this in one nice movement. 6a take away 2a is 4a. 12 plus 36 equals 48. I'm now left with one last number to remove. What's the opposite of times 4? Well, that's divide by 4. Okay, so I'm left up right at the end with the a equals 48 divided by 4. That equals 12 and that is my solution. Like always we can check our answer and do 12 take away 6 and then 12 plus 6. Well 12 take away 6 is 6, 6 6 is a 36. 12 plus 6 is 18, 2 times 18 is 36. Look at that, balanced out, worked. Okay really tough question, hope it's been of some use to you. Um, any problems uh, let me know. Um, and then you can move on to the next tutorial, um, which we'll be looking at fractional equations.